strawberry jelly is the best. Hey guys, I just went to Goodwill and I got a few things. Kind of really, kind of really excited, excited for everything I got. The first thing that I got is kind of questionable. Well, everything I got is questionable. But like, I just don't know how I'm gonna style it, but I actually really like it. Oh, why are so many people walking by my car? It's like a vest with this little print. Isn't this called like Argyle or something? I don't know, but I really like it. It's like a nice material and everything. I also got another thing with that pattern. Don't know why that pattern was popping off in Goodwill today. It's like a cardigan thing. I really like this. I was thinking I could style it with like a tennis skirt and like a white tank top and like some knee high boots. I feel like that would look really cute. It kind of gives me like Brandy Melville vibes. Like I feel like they had something that looked exactly like this. I don't know how I feel about brown. But yeah, just in general, like I don't know how I feel about brown. I got this. It's like a little quarter sleeve brown knit like thingy, like cardigan thing. I don't know. I'm trying to not like just wear clothes anymore because they're trendy. I'm trying to like wear stuff that I actually like, but I don't know if I'm going to like it until I like wear it like i don't know if it's something i feel comfortable in until i wear it because there's so many like different aesthetics or like trends that i like and i'll like wear them and i'm like mm -mm, not for me but then some of them some of them i like love i don't know i don't know so i figured i would try this we'll see maybe it's cute if not i'll give it to someone who wants it also got this which is like a very ugly color but also very fall i like the color okay it's just a sweatshirt but it's so fucking soft on the inside and like you know goodwill most of the shit in there has been washed like so many times because people wear it a lot and then give it away this is so fucking soft like i don't know i might be living in this very cute very cute i am overall very happy with my haul hopefully i like my stuff it's hot i'm about to go to target on the way i passed by duncan i was like oh that sounds good and i was oh my god <sighs> what's happening i passed by duncan and i was like oh that sounds good and i was like nah i'm not gonna get it and then i was like oh but what if they have pumpkin and i was like okay if today is the first day that they have pumpkin, like if they have pumpkin today, I'm gonna get a nice coffee. I was like, what are the chances? And then I look on their Instagram and today is literally the first day that they have pumpkin. Like today's the first day of their pumpkin. I'm freaking out a little bit. <laughs> it starts today, the 18th. I need to go get a pumpkin nice coffee. Really excited about that, but I'm probably gonna get it after I go to Target. Oh my gosh, it's the little things. All right, I'm gonna drive over to the drop off section of this so I can put the stuff that I'm donating to them. Give them the stuff that I'm donating. What the fuck am I even saying? Oh, that's cool. You just kind of put it over there. Or I've seen they like come out and like grab it for you and it's kind of awkward, but. Oh, this lady's about to move up, so I'm just gonna wait for her. Oh, there's a fucking man. Why are there right there? than Target. Oh, my head hurts for some reason. I got stuff for my sister's baby shower. And then I also got groceries. Dude, I don't know what is going on, but literally the past two days, I've had something in my eye. Yesterday, it was the other eye. Today, it's this eye, and I like can't get it out. Anyways, I got this from Target, and I figured I would try it. I have no idea if it's going to be good. It's a shrimp fresh roll. It's kind of expensive for what it is, but... It's fine. I've never had, I don't think I've ever had anything like this, so hopefully I don't hate it. It comes with sweet chili peanut sauce. Chip 
also never had. I saw like a lady, she like walked over there and got sushi and I can't eat sushi, I can't get sushi from like places like this like pre-made because I don't like seaweed. Anyways, that's why I couldn't get regular sushi, sushi because I probably would have gotten that if I had the choice. They also had this like spicy shrimp something and it didn't have seaweed. It was like a little, I don't know what it was. It looked really good and I was contemplating getting that, but it was like three pieces. It's not bad, it just tastes very fresh. Yeah, it's not bad, it's just very like, like you're definitely eating some vegetables, you know? Which is probably good for me. There's something in here that tastes weird. I don't know if it's this. What is this? Carrots, avocado, cucumber, red cabbage. Yeah, I think it's cu cucumber. But why does it look like that? It looks like it was like shaved in a little... Mm, I don't know if I how I feel about the peanut sauce like if this was spicy mayo i feel like this would taste so good the peanut sauce isn't bad it's just like not enough it's not enough flavor that is good i'm trying to work on eating better not even necessarily like cutting out junk food but like just eating more healthy foods because i wasn't eating like anything good for me like any fruits or vegetables like i was just eating junk food so i'm not like limiting myself from eating like last night i ate pizza for dinner i don't really i don't really care i just am trying to incorporate more more good food for me you know i stopped eating sugar I, I didn't like completely cut out sugar but i was eating so much fucking sugar every day it was a lot it was a lot and i was getting so tired around this time like two three o'clock i was done like i need i felt so tired and like i needed a nap and then when i got sick i wasn't eating anything sweet just because i didn't like i was eating what made me feel good so i wasn't really eating my normal like sugar intake after i was better i just continued like not eating that much sugar and i feel so much better now and i still will like eat sugar but i'm trying to like not eat it in the morning and seeing if that maybe helps i'm just trying to cut it cut the amount down to a decent amount because I was eating no more. I actually think I really like the peanut sauce. I just feel like I need more. Like, I wish I could drench the whole thing. It feels like I'm eating a salad. I just meant have a Starbucks mask on. You stare, you stare at me, I stare, stare at you. Hi, can I get a small pumpkin decaf iced coffee? Yeah, can I get oat milk in that? Thank you. Tastes very pumpkin-y. Oh, at the bottom it does. Maybe I need to mix it more. <sighs> I missed this. Right after I was done eating on the drive over here to Duncan, I started playing the audiobook I'm listening to right now, which is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. It literally started with a scene of someone cutting their foot open and like blood gushing everywhere, and I was like, I just ate. A little, a little nauseating but it's fine i'm good but like the descript the, the descriptive words that she was saying i almost had to turn it off it was a lot it's not even the blood maybe it is kind of the blood but it was more so like the fact that she was stabbed by like a fucking piece of glass really sharp in her foot and that just kind of made me feel like it kind of made me feel not okay a little bit oh this is so good i just love fall and I just really want to go somewhere where it's actually fall because Florida, it's fucking summer year round and I just don't like it. I forgot that like the first couple sips really hit you and like I really have to poop. I wasn't prepared for that feeling. Dude, I have to work at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. I didn't want to do that. I didn't ask you for that. Uh, I'm contemplating putting blonde throughout my hair. Like. Would it look weird if there were just like blonde streaks? It probably would look weird. I really like the blonde. I think it looks very nice. Should I journal? What should we write about? Should we write about our lives right now? Should we write about our life right now? Wednesday, August 18th. <laughs> Remember earlier when I said all that stuff about sugar? Just disregard that. Just disregard that today. Um, this guy looks so freaking pretty. I don't even know. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. 
look at that when i was getting the cookies you could see like the whole sky and there was one part that was like really orange and like purple and it looked so cool i love i love the fucking sunsets and nature and the clouds it's just so insane to me i'm not sentimental baby love I forgot to take a thumbnail for this video. Maybe I can take one of the suns. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna like cut a piece because this shit is huge and I cannot eat the whole thing. So we're gonna cut a little sliver. I'll just cut it in the fours. Smells good. I got the Buckeye brownie one. I don't know if I said that, but it's like brownie, peanut butter, and chocolate. Oh my gosh. That's so good. And it's just like a peanut butter brownie, which I love that. I used to eat peanut butter brownies all the time as a child. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm about to eat another half. I can't. 